Well, this is the uh, afternoon of the big Jordan Romero Day. And I'm in the cafeteria area of the middle school, and I want to uh, film some very special cakes that the Sugar Pine Bakery has made. Now they're going to be in here. The uh, tables are all set. There's been 25 restaurants that are bringing in food. And uh, then they're going to uh, have a dinner starting at 5.30. People will come in. And uh, there is a charge of $8 for adults and $5 for kids. And it goes to Jordan's Charities, which is really, really cool. One of it is uh, called uh, Teen Duke, which is John Wayne's Cancer Foundation. So anyway, it's going to be really neat. And then uh, in just a little bit, I'm going to go up on the upper field and we'll uh, see the ceremonies and the arrival of Jordan and his uh, Dad and Karen on the fire truck, and his mom, and his sister. <laughs> Get them all. Well, here we are in the uh, in the cafeteria, and uh, Trish of Sugar Pine uh, Bakery baked the Six Peaks cake that uh, Team Jordan has uh, climbed to, and of course the largest is Team Jordan there. And here we have Team Jordan. There, yeah. And look at that. Pretty cool, isn't it? I know. I'm so yeah. Cool. It's beyond cool. Wow. So you're gonna, Absolutely uh, gorgeous. These are huge cakes. Yeah. <laughs> huge. Isn't this neat? It has all of, the, all of the names of the mountains, starting with Mount Kilimanjaro was the first one, and then going through and ending with uh, the Mount Everest climb. Well, we're all set. And you're going to eat. Cool. Oh, and now uh, you guys got to get on your horse and yep. make the grand entrance up on the grand field. We'll be back. Uh, thanks. Trish, you get your photo? Yeah. in there too. Oh, Trish is quite a baker. Uh, Good. Her uh, bakery is located up on Red Ant Hill. That's my husband, Jim. How neat, huh? Jim, thanks. Thanks, Jim. Well, now I'm on the uh, football field. This is. Uh, Spencer Field. This is where uh, Jordan is going to be in the uh, ceremonies. And then uh, they have what they call a Live Your Dream Fair. They have uh, vendors over there. They have a climbing wall. Lots of kids over there. And uh, it's really, really cool. And even the dogs come. We're going to play one more. Okay, here comes Jordan, his family, the old Big Bear Lake fire truck. This is a classic. Pretty cool. Look at him up there. He's got a coat on. Told his dad let him take his coat off. How neat is that, huh? Cool. Okay, here he is coming up. Yeah, that's his mom, the blonde up there. Hey, I call the father. That's Jordan. Karen's next. No, mom's next. Leanne. I guess Karen's already off. Yeah, she jumped off. We're coming early. Here they come. Hey, Devin. Hi. There he goes, gone, going up to the stage. What a reception. He is so cool, I tell you. And we got a lot of media here today. Once again, they stayed all day. A lot of them stayed all day. Okay, Jordan's on stage with his family. VIPs, this is the VIP section. They all have chairs. And everybody's gathering around. Okay. 
Okay, look at they're all doing the wave up there. How cool is that? There's a the mayor, Liz Harris. Julie Chamberlain, principal of the uh, Big Bear Middle School. Dr. Nancy Wright, superintendent of the school. Chamber of Commerce. I would like to. <laughs> I, I would like to actually start this evening if everyone could turn off their cell phones. <laughs> that would be great. You know how that's kind of annoying. Um, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you. Liz Harris, she's the MC tonight. Well, isn't this something? Does it give you goosebumps and just make you happy all over? Does me, yes. Woo! It's wonderful to see all of you here this evening, not only to celebrate Jordan's amazing accomplishments and that of his families, but also to begin your journey towards accomplishing your goals and your dreams. We hope tonight's events inspire you to start thinking about what your summit is and how you can conquer it. Jordan's theme throughout his adventure of climbing the seven highest summits of the world is ad alta, which means in Latin, to the summit. Tonight we're going to hear from many of our elected officials and from those who have inspired Jordan to reach the summit of his dreams and to complete one more step toward his goal of achieving the seven summits. We have yeah. Yeah. Jordan's grandparents, Alex and Joan Romero, and Bob Drake, please stand. Please stand. And Jordan's uncle, Neil Drake who contributed to the your successful summit of Mount Everest. This accomplishment is made all the more impressive by your young age. You are proof that today's youth is capable of truly amazing things. As a boy, you never let your aspirations be limited. And at age 13, you have excelled beyond all expectations. I applaud your dedication and your determination. It gives me goosebumps. As a fellow athlete, I commend you on challenging your determination. As a fellow athlete, I, I commend you on challenging your body and mind to tackle this challenge. You take your health and fitness very seriously, and I hope more of our young people look to you for inspiration. Though it is not your first historic climb, it is the culmination of a dream you have come to enjoy. I know there may have been many times you wanted to give up, but your perseverance is the hallmark of a true champion. I know this fantastic milestone will be followed by many more throughout your life. I also wish to thank your loving parents and teammates, Paul Romero and Karen Lundgren, for their support. They deserve a big hand for allowing you the opportunity to realize your potential and keep you safe along this dangerous journey. I can only imagine the joy they feel as parents to have you as their son. And I'm sure I would add Leanne in that group. You can draw immense gratification for knowing that all of California is glad to know that you come from our home state. As a boy growing up in the shadow of Alps, I share your appreciation and respect for nature's beauty. Please accept my best wishes for, for every future success and happiness. I look forward to meeting you soon. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Governor. <laughs> Jordan, I'd make that appointment. <laughs> now, it's time to introduce 
Larry Bredow, Bredo, field representative for the state senator, Bob Dutton. Thank you, Mayor. It's really a pleasure to finally meet you, Jordan. On behalf of the senator, I'm really glad to be here. He can't be here, unfortunately. But trust me, he would rather be here than in Sacramento trying to scale a mountain of debt. So, anyway, but he, I do have a letter for you from him as well as a certificate. And if I can share some of the letter, it says, I know that you've been training for the Mount Everest climb for a long time and that this accomplishment has not come easily. One can only imagine the hardships you have endured and the sacrifices you have made during this long journey. But Jordan, you made it. Your dream of reaching the Everest summit has become a reality, all due to your hard work, dedication, and competitive spirit. You are an American champion. Blessings to your family as well for supporting you, encouraging you, and climbing along beside you as you continue toward your goal of seven summits. I am honored to know that such a fine young man resides in the 31st district, giving us all hope for the future and making us all proud. Congratulations. Congratulations, Jordan. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here with you uh, to honor this fine young man for such a great accomplishment. Uh, when I was 13, I was only hoping to hit 300. Uh, this is quite a, an auspicious occasion, and we want to welcome him home, uh, and we also want to congratulate him. I will have a presentation for him in the future. We're scheduling a date so he can come down to the Board of Supervisors, and the entire Board of Supervisors can honor him. Uh, we're looking forward to that. Congratulations. God bless, and I uh, just wanted to shake your hand. Thank you, sir. Hendricks wrote a book called The Big Leap. It discusses the fact that everyone has their upper limit problem. That is a point that each person believes that he is not capable of going beyond. Well, Jordan clearly is the exception. Jordan has demonstrated that physically, mentally, and spiritually, his future is limitless. He sets an example for all of us, no matter our age. And parts of the proclamation, I won't read it all, but parts of the proclamation read, whereas Jordan Romero has shown enormous fortitude, dedication, and strength by persevering through many physical challenges and obstacles in order to achieve the goals he set for himself, and whereas Jordan Romero is an inspiration to the entire Big Bear Valley, as well as an exceptional role model for the youth in our community and our nation. Now for, the, now for be it proclaimed that the mayor of the city of Big Bear Lake, on behalf of the city council and the citizens of the valley, hereby extend sincere congratulations to Jordan Romero for becoming the youngest person to reach the peak of Mount Everest and to extend their best wishes and support as he journeys to Antarctica to complete his quest of becoming the youngest person to climb all seven summits of the world. adventure. First of all, to be able to surprise Jordan when he thought he was doing something else and we had assemblies and all kinds of things and even a ride on a fire truck today. Yeah. So Jordan, we promise there won't be too many more surprises for you and things can get back to normal. I don't mind it. With <laughs> Welcome Julie Chamberlain, principal at Big Bear This past week, I have had an extensive education in government. Um, prior to last Wednesday, I didn't realize the city and the chamber were two separate entities. 
I've never seen government in action so up close before. Here at the school, we had planned an event for this evening, and then the chamber offered to host an event, a community event, what we're doing right now, actually tomorrow. And we chatted with the family, we chatted with the chamber, and we decided to combine it all into this. I've never, so the chamber came on to our Jordan Romero committee, and I've never seen people move so fast, so effectively to organize all of these volunteers, all of these businesses that have uh, a youth affiliation to show up today. I want to especially thank uh, the people who added on to our committee, Sarah Russ, who you saw before, who informed us that she had been to Big Bear, uh, Big Bear Middle School before. Michael and Tanya Perry, you heard Michael on the radio a second ago, sorry. Uh, E.T. and Ron Seymour from Channel 6, and then Jim Ash, who has set up all of this sound system. Our own Terry Plans, who's around somewhere in a white shirt. Hi, Terry. Track looks great. Thank you. He's the head of our maintenance. Um, as the minutes tick down toward graduation, which is just next week, Terry's and my life's become more and more stressful by the minute. So for him to pull all of this off along with the chamber has been remarkable. And Karen, back and honor them and show them how much we appreciate them and celebrate their accomplishments. Outside of local government, I've also learned a lot about our federal government. I um, spent over an hour on the phone with the White House today. That was very challenging. I'm thinking of changing uh, from being a Democrat after today. <laughs> I think I talked to every department today and left a message on every voicemail today. I'll kind of give you a little synopsis of what my phone calls were like. Uh, the White House, that's how they answer. And I would tell them what I wanted and who I was, and I figured that'd give me all sorts of clout. And they'd all heard of you. Yes. And they said, so when I started calling like a week ago, when I heard about this event was going to be on, they actually have a department that's called scheduling. And there's different uh, procedures for scheduling Obama and uh, uh, his wife, and then the vice president and his wife, and there's different emails and different fax numbers. And I did it all, and I never heard a reply. So um, today I saw I'm going to be on that phone till somebody helps me. So I, I tell the guy who answers the phone, I need to speak to a human. The events today, I'm Jordan Romero's principal. I pause, you know, and oh, you know who I am. And uh, so he goes, okay, hangs on. He puts me through another voicemail. Call back. No, I, I need a human. So they put me through to correspondence, put me through to um, greetings. There's all sorts of d scheduling. Um, so after calling back, insisting, um, sorry, Nancy, that's all going to be on the phone bill, by the way. It's the longest it's called. My cell phone doesn't get reception here. Um, after uh, calling, I finally got some staff secretary, so I thought, score. And he goes, oh, yeah, you need to, I'll put you through to correspondence, and you need to speak to so-and-so. And he put me back to the operator. So I left all sorts of messages, and... Um, who knows? I followed all the steps. Maybe they're just running late and he'll be up in a little bit. I mean, one can hope. I have had multiple people um, ask me if I think it's wise or responsible to allow a 13-year-old to climb Mount Everest. And what I tell them is 13 is just a number, and that number does not define Jordan Romero. Yeah. Anybody who says something about that or asks me about it does not know Jordan. He is, he's a strong young man, both physically and mentally. He's been raised with love and support, and he has had intensive training to accomplish this task. This was Jordan's dream, Jordan's accomplishment. He's a quiet, humble, a gentle, thoughtful leader. If you came down and hung out with us in the quad or walked through our hallways, and there's over 500 of us here, you wouldn't be able to pick Jordan out of the crowd. Because Jordan leads by example, not by boasting or drawing shallow attention to himself. Monday.